in this video I will be testing part of the CPUs that I unboxed in a previous video. They are all laptop CPUs, two kind of sockets. Some of them are uh, P478 and some of them are, one moment, 988. So the laptop that, that I'm using now to test uh, has socket P478. It's a Lenovo T500. And uh, this is the CPU that uh, that is in now. A P8600. A Core 2 Duo. Uh, Core 2 Duo, sorry. <laughs> I use my mother language for the number. So, uh, after a quick... Uh, a quick bench in CPU Z. These are its uh, scores and the maximum temperature you can see here. The last CPU that I will be testing will be the one that hopefully remains in this laptop. And I will not close the laptop after putting that CPU in because I need a better thermal compound and I don't have one now, I have to order one. And because I want to also upgrade the RAM and I haven't yet received the RAM. So, yeah, I will be testing uh, all the CPUs st starting from here. And this one will actually remain in. And we will uh, make a video about upgrading this to this CPU and uh, upgrading the RAM. But this one is for testing a ton of CPUs. So let me start uh, opening this laptop. From what I saw online, uh, this top has to come off because the CPU is somewhere around here, the RAM is somewhere around here. So yeah, in this case we will go to the front and not from the back. So let us continue. This is how you release the CPU. So out with the P8600, in with the P8400. And uh, now if you haven't done already, is a really good time to discharge yourself into something metal around your house. I will use the case from my desktop computer. The test CPU is in. I did not clean the old thermal paste because at this point I don't care for it to be efficient. I just uh, don't want it uh, burning up. This I cleaned, but uh, yeah. This is the crap thermal compound I'm using now. It's good for uh, audio electronics and stuff like that where you use a lot, but uh, Clearly it's not CPU grade stuff. So this is just for quick tests and uh, with the final CPU if it's working, the one that I plan on letting in this laptop, I will use uh, good quality thermal compound, not this kind of stuff. But for testing, good enough. And if this CPU isn't uh, working, then why bother cleaning it? So yeah. If you only change one CPU, not seven or eight that I have to change now. You have to clean all around, but for test I don't find it necessary. If I find that this CPU does overheat a little bit, then the other ones that I put in I will clean, but I don't think so. So yeah, we, we will see. Of course I did clean up the, the cooler because uh, it also had dried thermal paste on it and if the dried one on the CPU intersects with the dried one in here, then yeah, it will not work. First CPU is a go. We are benching it now, not overheating at all. So it clearly works. Yeah, it's almost no, no heat coming out of it and this is the maximum temperature so yeah 
either this CPU produces way less heat than the original one or the original paste was dried up or uh, even more crap than the one that I'm replacing <laughs> replacing it with for tests so yeah Avira why you do this okay let me show you the info so this is the first one from the lot and it's working I will not show you all the steps again I will just uh, show you all the CPUs boot it into Windows like this and uh, test it. Second CPU is benching. It's also a P8400. You can see the info here. This one also didn't uh, rise the temperature too much. Bloody Windows decided to do its updates in the middle of me testing these CPUs. So yeah, let me just uh, tell you if I forgot by now, uh, you have to remove the battery when doing this sort of work on your laptop and uh, always be careful to put uh, thermal paste on the CPU. So yeah, we will wait for Windows to start up again. You can see even with the uh, T9400 CPU, the cooler isn't revving almost at all. So, pretty good. The first T9400 is being benched. Temperature is a little bit higher, but still decent. Yeah, Windows doing stuff. This is the CPU info and let's go to the next one. The second T9400. Pretty decent still. And of course my battery died, so uh, we are plugged in now. Let's go to the next one. The last T9400 getting benched. Decent temperatures on this one. It's weird, with uh, identical CPUs, identical thermal paste, identical application, we get uh, pretty different uh, temperatures. Yeah. Those are already tested, the one inside is already tested, and we have these two to go. This is the most important one, so stay tuned. <laughs> and this is the original one. And for this I need another laptop that is on its way here. We will see about that. Here we have the T9550. A little bit higher temperatures. But I would still not worry too much about those. These are its uh, info. And now the final one. The E8330. And for that one I will actually show you how I install it, put thermal paste on it and everything else. Okay guys, for those of you watching the testing and unboxing of the CPU lot 
this is the part where I install the CPU that will remain in my laptop. And for those of you watching the upgrade of the Lenovo T500, where this is the original CPU, a P8600, and this is the CPU that will be going in. It's an E8335 used in Apple computers. And if you buy one of these, be careful to use the code SLGEB. This is the CPU that uh, consumes only 34, or at least outputs only 34, 35, sorry, watts of uh, heat. There are similar uh, CPUs, but with uh, lower speed and uh, more heat output. So this is the one that you want. This is the last... Uh, 478 socket CPU. This is the one that will remain in the T500 Lenovo. Pretty good benchmark uh, scores. The temperature is a little high because I tried to do something and uh, combine dried up uh, paste with uh, this cheap stuff and uh, yeah failed experiment not working not uh, very good results so i will have to change the paste on this cpu and yeah the rest of these cpus are uh, socket 988 and i will test them only when another laptop arrives with this type of uh, socket Back. actually i forgot to show you the cpu information this is a pretty nice CPU. This is the main reason I got this lot. And the second reason is the i5. So yeah. Until now all CPUs are fine and it seems they have survived uh, shipping from US to Romania. Just in some paper and uh, tiny envelope. Pretty good.